What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we have a, a bit of news of news I guess you could say. We have gotten confirmation that the next batch of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news will be coming during the closing ceremony of the Pokemon World Championships which are going right now in London. Now the closing ceremony should uh, as far as I can tell take place at for me 11 o'clock on sunday that's eastern standard time so eastern standard time 11 o'clock be looking out there will be pokemon scarlet and violet news as well as news on the pokemon tcg you know obviously with us transitioning to pokemon scarlet and violet in the video games the tcg will be doing the same as well a couple of news we did in fact get for the event i guess you could say is that there is a victini distribution that is open to all players the code for it is world 22 victory but with the o's being zeros and the i's being a one and then in pokemon go you can get a world's t-shirt by using this long code that i'm just gonna put up and not even gonna attempt now, we did get some news also on Pokemon Unite. There's a new uh, stadium, I guess, a new stage, whatever they call it, in Unite, as well as Rayquaza appearing in this new stage. And we have in Pokemon Go, Ash will be available as a sync pair. Now, some of you may be like, what? That's been going on for months. No, he was in the game, but he's now a character you can unlock and play as. So, a little bit different from his entrance before but very cool that he's now actually available ash versus red is now canon so that's pretty cool also on august 25th will be this new feature in the game that i don't fully understand but it's called the trainer lodge and it's basically just dating characters so yeah i mean and they start out with cynthia so i know a lot of you will really like that so there, there you go you can date cynthia and blue and n so that's pretty much the main three i'm always seeing so go date cynthia i guess all right now for predictions for what we could see from scarlet and violet and the tcg tcg probably will just be a reveal of i don't know maybe the starters cards maybe the legendaries cards but they'll probably hide the typing because their typings haven't been officially revealed yet they have been leaked but not officially revealed and they'll probably also reveal whatever the new gimmick in the cards is. You know, they always have a gimmick in the cards just like they do in the games. You know, Dynamax, there was VMAX, V and VMAX. And th there'll be something to kind of coincide with Terrastalizing, which of course is the new gimmick in Scarlet and Violet. Now, as for Scarlet and Violet, the video games, the meat, what everyone's here for. It's actually really funny when they announced that the Scarlet and Violet news would be in the closing ceremony. People booed. Like, you could on stream, I'm not there, but you can audibly hear people on stream boo when they said it would be in the closing ceremony. That was really funny. But it, they, in the past, try to have a focus on some kind of competitive aspect i mean think back in sword and shield they actually didn't reveal a new pokemon they revealed new abilities like mirror armor neutralizing gas they revealed new moves like breaking swipe and they revealed a new item uh room service and they might have revealed another new item too not gonna lie that it's pretty fuzzy to me that trailer because there was no new pokemon in it so we could see something like that you know don't necessarily expect a new pokemon however i do think it's possible there could be a new pokemon maybe even two or three at the worlds for sun and moon or coming out the year sun and moon was coming out it actually did reveal three new pokemon cabrawler sandy gast and stuffle so we could see three new ones revealed but it's probably going to be something to do with competitive so think a pokemon that can change form or a pokemon with a brand new typing like type combination or even a pokemon with a new move that's going to be very competitive there's obviously if you're keeping up with leaks there are some that definitely come to mind but uh you know we're gonna make this video viewable for everyone not just everyone who keeps up with leaks so I won't name them here, but there's definitely options if you are keeping up with leaks. So there you have it, guys. That's what we can expect from the news drop coming on Sunday, as well as some news that's going on right now. Again, 
It will be at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time AM. So, you know, figure out what that is for your time zone. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys think we can expect in the comments below. Be sure to also like, subscribe, hit the bell. We will be covering that content and all, so you don't want to miss that. So, again, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Until next time, I will see all of you later.